Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to buy Bitcoin and store it on a Trezor hardware cryptocurrency wallet. So let's get started. All right, so I'm here on the Trezor homepage, and I'm going to show you how to buy some Bitcoin and store it on a Trezor device. Uh, I should also point out that they're having a Black Friday sale, which starts today, November 23rd, 2020. So if you're interested, I've got some affiliate links down below. And don't forget to use that coupon code Black Friday 2020 when you check out. All right, so I'm going to use Coinbase. Uh, there are a lot of ways to buy Bitcoin, but Coinbase is one of the easiest for people who have never done it before. It's really easy to set up a Coinbase account. You'll just go to Coinbase.com, get yourself an account set up. Uh, you're going to need to verify your identity uh, so that you can purchase cryptocurrency safely. Now, once you've got an account set up, it's pretty easy to buy Bitcoin. You just go up here to trade on their homepage. And Bitcoin is the default, right? They have a lot of cryptocurrencies that you can choose from. But today I'm going to focus on Bitcoin. Now, there are a couple ways to uh, buy it. And you can buy as much or as little as you want. Uh, I'm just going to do a demo with around $100 worth of Bitcoin. Uh, and, but as you can see here, I've got it connected uh, to my bank account or my debit card. So I'm going to show you both ways. If you choose the debit card option, it's very fast and easy. And then when you hit preview buy, you can see that for about $100 worth of Bitcoin, you're going to pay about $3.84. Now this is a quick and easy way to buy Bitcoin. Um, you can also use your bank account. Now the reason I haven't used the bank account option in the past is because it takes a while for the uh, Bitcoin to actually be available for withdrawal. Uh, but now they're saying here you can send the full amount uh, immediately. All right, and you'll notice here that the bank account option has a smaller uh, merchant charge or Coinbase fee. So that might be the way to go from here on out. Also, there are different uh, limits on buying. Your, your bank account option has a $25,000 uh, limit, and uh, the debit card only has a 5000 buying limit. Whether or not you can immediately withdraw your Bitcoin might also depend on how much you're actually buying at the time. But we're going to stick with the $100 option today, make, keep it simple. All right, so once you have the Bitcoin in your Coinbase account, you're going to want to withdraw it into your own personal wallet. This is a much more secure way to hold your Bitcoin. You are totally responsible for this wallet and only you can access the Bitcoin. Much safer than keeping it on an exchange. All right, so today we're gonna do Trezor and I'm on the Trezor homepage here. I'm gonna leave a link to this down in the description below. So to get started, you're just going to click wallet here and then they're going to give the give you the option of connecting to your hardware wallet. Now, I'm not going to show you how to set up the Trezor out of the box. I've got a couple of good videos for that, which I'm going to put up here in the corner. You can uh, check those out if you've uh, just bought a Trezor and you're opening up the box and you want to know how to get it set up from the beginning. Uh, and that requires writing down your backup phrase. But we're going to go straight to the uh, connection and buying options. I have a Trezor Model T, so I'm just going to get it connected here uh, with the USB cable. And then I'll choose the Trezor T option. I'm going to go ahead and continue to the wallet. All right, so you can see here, uh, this is what the Trezor looks like when you first connect it. And so basically, you just tap it and you're going to need to enter your PIN. All right, and once it verifies the PIN, you'll see this icon here, and you might hear a connection uh, chime on your computer. All right, and once you've done that, you can uh, click this button here, check for devices. All right, and so uh, we'll just click Trezor there, and then we'll hit Connect, and then it's going to pull up the interface there. As you can see, I've used mine before. Uh, if you've never used it before, uh, you're basically just going to see this empty balance and uh, no transactions over here. All right, so what we want to do is go over to Receive, and then we'll click here where it says Show Full Address. All right, and you'll notice there that it shows the address on the device so that you can double check that uh, the device is 
that it's reading the device correctly. All right, and then you can uh, just tap over here on your device. And you can just copy that address into your clipboard. All right. All right, so now we're just going to go over to Coinbase. And uh, we're going to withdraw that Bitcoin to our Trezor wallet. So we'll hit Portfolio here. And then we're going to go down to our Bitcoin portfolio. We can just click right here. You'll notice that we're in the wallet interface. And I'm going to go ahead and send it all. Uh, I've got a total of 110 in there. Now, if you've got a lot of Bitcoin on Coinbase and you've never done this before, my suggestion is that you start with a small amount. So maybe send 20 or $30 worth of Bitcoin to the address and make sure that it gets to its destination before you send a large amount of cryptocurrency. This is just uh, to make sure everything's working correctly. Even the big whales do that. You'll notice when you read stories about huge Bitcoin transfers, like uh, 2,000 Bitcoin or you know millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin, if you read the article uh, in detail, you'll, you'll usually see that they sent one Bitcoin as a test, right? So even the pros do that. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna paste in the address of my Trezor wallet here. And I don't need to put a note, I can if I want to. And then I'll hit continue. You'll see there an overview of your transaction. And then I'll hit send now. All right, they're gonna give us a little warning that this is an irreversible transaction, which is another reason why I suggest you try a small amount first, just to make sure it's gonna work. We'll hit send now. And then it needs my two-factor authentication. I'm using Google Authenticator. All right, and then I'll hit confirm. And it's done, all right? And it usually takes about 10 minutes. So we can go back over to our wallet and just keep an eye out for the Bitcoin. Oh, it looks like it's already arrived. That was really quick. So you can go back over here to transactions and you can see that that Bitcoin came in right away. I got really lucky. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer than that, but it will get there eventually if you've done everything correctly. So that's all there is to it. Buy a little Bitcoin on Coinbase and store it in your own wallet where it's safe and secure. If there's any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.